Welcome back. It's Murphy and me. We're the turf team. We got Marty with us somewhere around here, and we're going to talk about getting your lawn as green as possible. So stick around. Welcome to Murphy and me, the turf team. This is Murphy and I'm Ryan, and this little guy is Marty. He's a new addition to the turf team family. Uh, thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to talk about the one, two, threes of kicking off your Bermuda season to give you the greenest, best lawn in the neighborhood, all right? So hang on and check it out. Let's get started. Number one, it's about that time to scalp your Bermuda down. So what does it mean to scalp your lawn? Well, it means to cut your lawn as low as you possibly can and bag up all that brown dormant stuff, get it out of the way for those fresh green Bermuda shoots to come on up. So you're gonna take your lawnmower and set it down as low as you possibly can. If you can scrub frame, so be it. Bermuda can take it all the way down to the dirt and be just fine. So cut it as low as you can, bag it up. If you have a real mower, again, adjust it down as low as you can so you can start fresh and start cutting super low because Bermuda loves to be cut low. If you got a, road, a rotary mower, start out as low as you can and you'll slowly work your way up over the season because you don't want to yellow out your grass. You want to keep that nice green grass. Sometimes we do what's called a height reset where we'll scalp it midsummer all the way down again so that we can keep that low without yellowing it out throughout the season. So that's what scalping is. That's tip number one. Make sure you get your scalp in here in the next week or so. All right, so tip number two is vitally important. If you don't do this tip, you're gonna be struggling with weeds all season long. Uh, do we get weeds anyway? Yeah, we'll always get a few weeds and we can battle those out. But what we don't wanna do is have no frontal attack to eliminate those weeds before they even start with pre-emergent. So pre-emergent is tip number two. Make sure you get down the pre-emergent. You may have already put one application down. I know I have, and the second application is ready to go down now, or you might've put it down a couple weeks ago, that's fine too. But you wanna put that second application down to make sure you catch all the weeds that are gonna be coming up in the spring and summer. It's the same thing we did last fall. We put down that pre-emergent to stop those winter weeds, right Murphy? Remember doing that? Yeah, he remembers doing that. So the pre-emergent is so important. Now, these I got offline off Yard Mastery. You can do that too. Uh, I'll also use um, Anderson's from Amazon. You can order it. And I'll also use from Home Depot, Vigoro. I love that stuff for their fertilizers and their pre-emergent. It works so well. So you can just run up to Home Depot, get you a bag of that. It's not very expensive and get it down now, okay? Don't skip this part out. If you skip this part out, you're gonna be in huge trouble and you're gonna be battling through weeds all year long. So make sure you get the pre-emergence down. Do not skip it. I don't care what you're thinking, that you'll put it down later. No, put it down now. If you miss the window, we're pretty close right now to missing that window, then you're gonna be in big trouble and you're gonna be battling weeds. So tip number two, pre-emergent stops the weeds before they even come up. Vitally important, having a nice green lawn all season long. Right, Murphy? Marty, what do you think? All right, they both agree, so make sure you do it. Let me show you how important pre-emergents are, okay? So I have ryegrass down. That means I could not put down pre-emergent in my Bermuda in the fall time on the front yard. I was gonna do the side yard over here, but I decided not to at the last minute. And let me show you what happens when you don't put down pre-emergent in your Bermuda for the fall time. Check this out. Now, do you see all these green patches? Now, I've treated them with uh, weed killer, so they're not as bad as they were, but all these little green patches are weeds that popped up. And it's all because there was no pre-emergent in this side of the yard. Without pre-emergent, there's nothing to stop these weeds from germinating, just like the ryegrass did in my front yard. It germinated very well. The weeds will do the same thing if you don't do pre-emergent. And if you look in the backyard Bermuda, you won't see near as many of the weeds as you do over there. That's the Bermuda greening up in the back left corner, but the rest is weed free. That's because I did pre-emergent. Come on, Murphy. Marty, come on.
So tip number three that Murphy and me, that we have for you is, you like that one? Is that your favorite one? Well, Murphy's made his choice, I guess. Either that or just pawing the closest thing to him, which I think might be the case. Tip number three is nitrogen fertilizer. Now, Bermuda loves nitrogen. It's gonna make it grow, it's gonna make it green, all the stuff that we want. Uh, so nitrogen is a friend to Bermuda, okay? We're gonna make sure we get that down, but we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna wait till the lawns at least, I'd say 80%. Some people may put it down different times and that's fine too. Uh, even if you put it down now, it'll probably still be in the soil and given nutrients, but I like to wait till it's about 80% greened up and then hit it with a high nitrogen, water it in really well and watch it come out of dormancy nice and green and be vigorously growing. We're gonna do fertilizer, nitrogen fertilizer, all season long in the growing season. Probably once every six weeks, we'll put down some high nitrogen. In between that, we're gonna use some organics. I'll walk you through that throughout the season as well. So don't forget tip number three, nitrogen fertilizer we're going to do that in a couple weeks all right right now we're at the end of march so we're going to do that in a few weeks probably end of april once everything starts getting pretty close to green up uh, my lawn here in georgia usually doesn't do a full green up till in the april may a lot of times and that's when i'll hit it with the high nitrogen so tip number three high nitrogen murphy what do you think is that a good tip okay i'll take that as a yes Marty, what do you think? All right, they agree. Tip number three, high nitrogen fertilizer. Don't forget it. Don't forget to water it in. And let's have that super green lawn, all right? We'll call this a bonus tip. Pick up the dog poop in the yard before you mow. Oh, it's never ending. Also, if you're using a real mower, that's an open blade up there. Murphy knows to stay away from it. Marty doesn't know any better yet. So I need to be extra careful with where Marty is while I'm using the real mower. So I completely lost track of what I was doing here, uh, cutting the lawns. I didn't know if I was just supposed to go up or down on them. So there's no telling how these stripes ended up looking, but whatever, the grass is cut. That's all that matters. I was too busy, worried about where Marty was and what he was doing, and I lost track of my stripes. It happens to the best of us, and it happens to me too. So there it is, rye grass cut, a little jacked up with the stripes, but we got it cut. So that's the one, two, threes of kicking off your Bermuda in the best way possible to give you a nice weed-free green up for the season so you can start off just right. All right, so appreciate y'all joining me. If you like the video, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and even leave a comment of different videos you might wanna see through the season. Thanks for joining us, neighbors. It's Murphy and me and the turf team and we're so thankful that you joined us stay with us all season all right see y'all next time all right so murphy do you have any tips for everybody to get a green lawn
Artie, say goodbye.